Now for just a few more quick tips in Discord. First is for direct messaging. If you want to direct message someone, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go over to the member list, click on whoever you want to direct message, and shoot them a message. You'll also be able to see their roles and their about me. Sometimes you will have to go to view profile and add them as a friend before you can direct message them. Next, a few server specific things. So if you go over to the right hand side and you right click on the server, you'll notice that you'll be able to adjust the notification settings, mute the server, invite people to the server, and update your privacy for the server. You can also do this by clicking the arrow next to the top of the Discord. Let's take a minute to dive into the notification settings. One thing that I've learned is if you do not properly adjust the notification settings, you will get very annoyed by the constant notifications you will get both on mobile and desktop. Here's how I recommend you do it. So first you've got to go into the notification settings by clicking this arrow, or the three dots on mobile. When you click the arrow, you go into notification settings, and immediately you'll see that you have notifications set for all messages. You can keep it this way. You can do only mentions, which is which will give you an alert when anyone mentions, mentions you or mentions everyone, or you can set it to nothing. Let's say you want to set it to nothing. What you can do, though, if you still want to get notifications for certain channels, is go down to the bottom, and you can select the channel that you want to get, get notifications for. So let's say you only want notifications when there's an announcement. You click Announcement, and you can click All. And the, this will override the default settings that you have set. So even though you have it set for nothing, you will get a notification for announcements. You'll notice a few other uh, options here where you can just completely turn off mobile notifications and you can suppress certain roles. Um, but I like, I like to do it this way where you, you just select whichever channel or category that you want to get notifications for. Say you want to get notifications for upcoming events click all, click done, and now you won't get any notifications except for those two channels. Just two more quick items to cover. First, if you go back into the arrow next to the name of the server, you click the down arrow, and you can easily edit your server profile. When you click that, it will let you edit your nickname for what you want to be known as within the server and edit your photo, among other things. If you scroll down, you'll see that this is also where the user settings are located. Within this, you can go and edit things such as your privacy. Uh, you can go to your account and add two-factor authentication and adjust your password. You can change the appearance of Discord. And um, there's lots of other things to explore there. You'll notice at the bottom there is a settings area that also brings you to the same page. And that'll wrap up our tutorial for the Resource Lab server. Thanks so much, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Keep in mind that new channels and categories will be added, so keep an eye out on the announcements.